Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's DJ Monster here, and we got 17 new and updated mods to take a look at today. For all platforms, we got 13 new and four updates, and that's it. All mods today are for all platforms. I make mod review videos every time mods are released on the official in game mod hub, so get subscribed if you're new. That way, you never miss them. First up today, new mods for all platforms. We have the Seed Hog Pack. It is out now for BC Bueller Farms and Forward Agricultural. We did a video on this last weekend, so check that out if you haven't already. We go into detail about it, but today, we're just going to show you the customization on this. We'll start with the XL toolbar. This is going to be a total of 22 slots for you guys, but it is extremely detailed. One of the highest detailed cedars that we've gotten yet. And yes, all the hoses go exactly where they should. This weighs 18.8 tons, 450 horsepower required just for this piece, 19.8 meters, so it is big, and has a 9 mile per hour working speed. Wheel brands, we've got Lizard, Michelin, BKT, and Back In. You do have different setups here as well for duels and singles and quite a few of the options. Design, we've got Seedhawk and Vaderstad. So if you want the Vaderstad look, like the old Seedhawk that we had, well, you could do that. Or if you want the older, older Seedhawk that we had, you could go with that one as well. That's pretty sweet. And then system type, we have toe between. So where is this piece? Is toe between, toe behind. Where this is going to be in front. So toe in between is going to be this thing right here. We'll explain what all that means here in just a second. This is gonna hold 21,880. Or, yeah, 800 liters. That's going to be split up between, I think it's 5,600 liters for the front two pieces. Those are going to be seed only. And then the back one, I think it's like 10,000 something you could put in there, seed or fertilizer. So you could do all seed or seed and fertilizer. Uh, this one's going to be 12 slots. Wheel Brands, we have the exact same ones. You can make them all match as well. Plus, this one has a little bit extra. We got the Elmer's Manufacturing Transfer Tracks on here as well. So dual singles, tracks, whatever you like. Here's what I was talking about with the toe between. So this is going to be between. So you have your tractor, then the air cart, and then you have your drill. That's what toe between means. Toe behind is going to be where is the air cart? It's going to be behind the cedar. So you have tractor, you have your cedar, and then you have your air cart. Hopefully that makes sense. Easy way to figure that out. Just look at the air hoses. If you've got them pointing out the back, well, there you go. If you've got your vacuum system right there on the end, well, that's going to be behind. Design is going to be Seed Hawk or Vader Stat. You can make that match as well. And the fill system. You got no conveyor belt or conveyor belt. You can load from the side on either one of these or from the top, either way you want to. But the conveyor always makes it a little bit easier, but you don't have to go for it if you don't want to. How's that about one I know you've been waiting on? The Case H Magnum AFS US and EU series from Casarius Modding. It is here absolutely so this is going to be uh, a 27 slot a little hot but i'll explain why it's a lot of customization we start at 374 horsepower the variable transmission 647 liters fuel 31 miles an hour 12.7 tons wheel brands we have michelin tires we do have lizard these are going to be at least from what i can tell firestone so that's pretty cool trellaborg Continental, Midas, BKT, Friedstein, Nucky, and tires so you've got all those if you want to uh i think i'm gonna go with a uh Nice big chunky LSW tire setup. You can do that if you want to. Actually, I think for today's video, we're gonna go here with a crazy, crazy crawler track setup. Uh, let's go with a US version. We've got those as well, monitors. We have a field view monitor, Kenzie KPM3, Kenzie Blue Advantage on the inside, all three monitors or none of them. Attachers, we have three point. We've also got, uh, it's gonna be on the front, a 435 kilogram front weight, 650, 980, and then back to a three point. So either weight or three point, you have to choose. Engines, we have a 374 horsepower, and you can have that in a uh, variable or a power shift. And then we have the 417, 435 in the power shift and back down. So that 374 horsepower, aka the 340, that's the only one available in both. Very cool. I like that. Main color, red or black. Ooh, that black does look pretty good. Rim color, silver or black. And then, of course, you have your license plate. Next up for Blue Hawk and Modding, one of my favorite modders, we have the Case IH Puma Series. Yep, we got another one. <laughs> Let's talk about it. This is going to be 15 slots on consoles, 225 horsepower, at least to start with. Variable transmission, 390 liters of fuel, 31 miles an hour. It weighs 9.7 tons. Will Brands are going to bring us Trellborg, Michelin, Continental Midas, BKT, Vrodstein, and Nucky and Tires. Uh, we do have some pretty standard stuff in here. doesn't look like any tracks, so... Very, very normal things through there. GPS receiver, we've got no, and yes, 
either one you want attachers we got a front weight on there it doesn't say how much it weighs but it looks like it weighs one ton exactly we've also got a front three point with pto front attachments we've got nothing you also have the quickie and the Hauer, back to nothing again. Engine setup bring us the 185, 200, 220, 240. And then those engine uh, options will be 225 horsepower, 245, 260, and 270. Main colors, we have standard. You got the special red, black, and we've got gray as well. Do like that black, we'll stick with that. Rim color, of course, those are going to be rim colors. We've got white, gray, or black, so standard through there and your license plate. Next, we have the New Holland 70 series from Smetty. We've been looking forward to this one. It's from CMT Software, uh, Smetty known as either way. Now, we've got a super steer and we've got a regular version. My assumption would be the super steer actually is connected on the front, so the front weight or whatever it is turns with it. Yep, and that's uh, exactly what that is because this version is not like that. So let's go over these. They're both going to be 12 slots. This version right here, the normal 70 series, we have Trelleborg, Michelin, Nucky, and Midas, Continental, BKT, Bridestone, Tires. We'll go with some big old narrow twins. How about that? No, this look a little bit interesting. Let's go. Let's just go with a nice wide. Brands, we have New Holland. We do have Fiat Agri. New Holland Fiat Agri. And then back and forth between those. I like the Fiat Agri, so we'll stick it on there. Attachers, we've got your three-point on the front. We've also got a nice big weight on there as well. We'll stick with the three-point because we really want to see what happens here. We have a 170 horsepower engine, 190, 210, 240, and back down. Let's go with that 240. Main colors, well, you've got, it looks like, chrome down versions maybe yeah we got a couple chrome down we've got matte and we've got standard design this is going to be oh exhaust all right yeah we can go with that we can go with that we'll go with red there rim color of course we have white gray gray number two black black number two and chrome let's go with chrome just for the sake of it i'm gonna lease one of those because i'm curious about it and then this version quite literally the exact same customization for the 70 series now if i jump in here start turning yeah that front weight goes with it so what is this for what is that supposed to do i have no idea <laughs> i don't know why it does it uh but the version in farming simulator 19 was only available in this version so if it's something that you like it's something different it's a little bit neat and not very ordinary check it out did somebody say salty bart's kipper well, uh, it sounds weird to say out loud, and I'll probably never refer to it as that again. This is the Man TGS AT500 Kipper from Salty Bart, the NLD community. Yes, NLD is on the map. I'm, the right wording? I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, Salty Bart's Kipper right here has 500 horsepower manual transmission, 400 horsepower, 49 liters of fuel, 49,000 liters of everything, 49 miles per hour. There you go. Th weighs 13.9 tons. Holds literally everything in Salty Bart's Kipper in the back. Is going to be 15 slots for you guys on consoles. Will Brands, we've got uh, Trelleborg, Continental BKT. Ooh, those BKTs do look nice. And back into it yet again. Do have some nice big fat tires, so we'll go with that. Uh, we've got a main color. We'll change up yellow. Looking good. Had a yawn counter plus one there. Going to go white for uh, Salty Bart's Kipper in the back. And then we also have a rim color as well. Go with a nice red. Not a bad look right there. Not a bad look at all. Salty Bart Skipper. Now, how's about this for something that's kind of neat and not ordinary in any way, shape, or form? This is the Roush Era 32.1 from Creative Mesh. That's right, Creative Mesh is on the map today. They say that this offers high precision through accurate distribution of metering and fertilization, regardless of wind and slopes. This could drive always and everywhere around and apply the exact quantities that you need with 27 meter working with and a capacity of 3200 liters high area outputs can be achieved yeah what does that mean well it's a fertilizer spreader only <laughs> that's what that means two tons 27 meters at 11 miles per hour it's gonna cost you eighty three thousand dollars yes a fertilizer spreader cost you eighty three thousand dollars uh let's take a look at it real quick we'll just kind of jump in i did throw it on the front or the back rather of the case magnum that we got today so let's turn our help window on. Let's go and get this bad boy unfolded. There are quite a few YouTubers that have already released videos on this, by the way. Uh, I just was, I didn't have a time slot for it, unfortunately. I was going to try and get a video out tomorrow, but it looks like uh, well, I don't need to do that anymore. It's here. While we're at it, let's go ahead and fill it up with some solid fertilizer. Ooh, she heavy. So this is kind of like a spreader, but for... Uh, for, for, for fertilizer yeah it's interesting it's it's definitely definitely a little bit 
different. We'll go ahead and turn it on here. Uh, can we raise and lower? We can raise and lower. So that's kind of neat. Come over here. Come on, get out of here. Oh, it turned off. Yeah. <laughs> she drooping, boys. It's drooping. It does look really, really cool. It's just a different way to do fertilizer spreading applications and will definitely make things a little bit easier for you guys so you actually know where the end of it is. This is really cool. One mod that is back from White Bull Mining, we have the Joskin Wago Loader. Oh yeah, 4.1 tons, it's gonna be three slots of consoles. Not a lot of customization though. You've got with or without the front grid. This can load up your vehicles, things like that. So it is a small vehicle transport, rim color, all of the above. Just choose whatever you like, you're good to go. Uh, unfortunately, no base game gray, so we're just gonna go choose our own gray. What is that, light gray? Light gray it is, K-Bot sucks, all right. Next up, we have the Robo Killer 2. Now, this is a modified version of the bit that we've got in-game already. It's the exact same price, and it actually has a smaller working width, 1.5 meters instead of 1.8 meters. However, a lot of the other stuff is exactly the same. Mine is a couple neat things. So this is gonna own 10,000 liters of potatoes. It's gonna be 12.8 tons, 200 horse power is required to pull this harvester and you got a 1.5 meter working with it six miles an hour will brands we've got trelleborg and michelin bkt rides time however in here you got some neat things so you can go with like a massive wide tire like narrow duels which is kind of cool you got those in michelin uh you've got them in bkt as a matter of fact bkt's got a couple different wheel options you've got them in Vridestein. that's cool how neat are those that's awesome working lights we do have a couple additional working lights around the machine if you're going at night beacon lights of course we've got those all around and then rim color you can change this up if you really want to uh you can go with a Ooh, yeah now that one's all right uh and of course you have your license plate on the back this is cool get it has a smaller working width uh but it's all about the customization on this piece and we have a modified version of the transpace 8000 this is going to be 31,000 liter capacity 8.6 tons it's only going to be four slots so consoles does hold everything so you're good to go no matter what you want to put in here just put it in there well brands we have trail Bork, michelin bk knock in tires through there we do have a couple that you could change up and that is the only customization from this ladies and gentlemen for this next one i have an announcement to make three meter cultivator lab! is that annoying yep so we're three meter cultivators this one is 80 horsepower requirement three meters nine miles an hour and you have no customization does it look good yes the design's really nice they did a good job but it's a three meter cultivator, so I gotta put it down. Your next one's kinda neat. This is the Greenhouses with Seed and Fertilizer. They say get a higher yield from greenhouses by supplying seeds, fertilizer, or manure. Now I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to supply all of those or just some of it. Am I flying? I am flying right now. Oops, my bad. Let's take a look at this real quick. So this is in our, uh, I guess the large greenhouse right here. And you can see over on the right hand side, incoming materials, water, seed, solid fertilizer, and manure. Now going tomatoes, lettuce, or strawberries. Naturally, you can choose which one you want to change it up. So this is neat. Ooh, look on the, uh, look on the right side, right about in here. So the top three, cause I noticed there's six here. Normally there's three only. Uh, tomatoes with fertilizer lettuce with fertilizer and strawberries with fertilizer then it goes to manure so it is either fertilizer or manure manure might be actually super beneficial if you've got a bunch of animals or something so that's nice to see and we have it in all three sizes small medium and large small and medium are going to be seven slots where the large will be eight slots on consoles these are really cool. Yes, sir. All hell, the Meridian Storage Yard. Yeah, the Meridian Storage Yard is here. The sells and uh, stores the following. You've got herbicide, liquid fertilizer, solid fertilizer, lime seeds, and water for farming uses. Placeable cost, 67,500 bucks, capacity 300,000 liters. All said and done, these options will allow you to have different silo types based on your farming needs. This works as a dynamic storage, so the capacity is split up based on product. Okay, where's our bit right here? Here it is, so this is gonna bring us in. We've got select the product amount you want to buy. So we have water, lime, liquid fertilizer, seeds, herbicide. So this is going to be a full silo. So if we went in and we just wanna buy, I don't know, liquid fertilizer. 300,000 liters of it, $396,000. There we go. And now this entire thing is just a liquid fertilizer 
uh, system. And whenever you're done getting it from this, well, you can select something else if you really want to. That is cool. So it uh, stores and sells, huh? Hmm. So no more space. It looks like you're either going to be able to buy it or put it here. Not bad. And it's nine slots, so it's not that bad. Next to last, we've got the small square liquid manure tank. And I say that, I uh, just realized that the last mod today is a prefab. So ignore what I just said. The small square liquid manure tank. This is the last one. This is it. Look at this. How, how last it is. This is, uh, yep, liquid manure tank. And we have a silo extension board as well. Yes, a liquid manure silo extension. That's pretty cool. This is going to be able to uh, use... What it is, is 100,000 liters, $10,000 for both of these, four slots for both of these. They are what they are, liquid manure tanks. Ba boom All right, let's make our way into mod updates. The first one is going to be the map Umbrium Valley. It is back on the mod hub. Update 1.001, fixed the seeing under the water place behind the sawmill. Don't know what that means. Also added new animal dealership building, replaced a few models with in-game models, fixed and added two fields and lowered the sound volumes. We've also got an update to the class Convio Flex Pack. This is gonna be version 1.1. They have added the Convio Flex 1230. That is going to be 4.1 times has a 12.3 meter working width at six miles an hour. They've also got switchable feed augers and adjustable materials. However, the unfortunate part is I'm not seeing any of those updates or I don't know how to switch the feed augers and I really don't know how to adjust the materials. So there you go. Concrete manure storage has an update. The version is 1.001. They've capacity increased both of them. Increase the capacities? Well, wow, got the words mixed up. Small one is now up to 100,000 liters and the large one is up to 500,000 liters. However, they did not make this change in the description itself. Um, Dadak, go back and change the numbers. Copy and paste, my dude. And lastly, we have an update to the Big Water Pack version 1.001. Six new objects, markers have been approved and added options for the disappearance of markers. So you can make the options disappear if you want to, if you're near something else. And of course, it is all of the base game bits. Uh, there's about four or five modders out there, at least something like that, that have packs exactly like this. So really at this point, it's whichever modder you want to support, download that pack. And I hope you support me ending this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like, get subscribed if you're new, join the GoHam fam, make sure your notification bells are on as well. That way you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. Speaking of daily farming simulator videos, we got another one coming out after this. The news video, Farm Sim News, is back today. We'll also have the Farm Sim Show later today on Clutch's channel, I think. I don't know, 100%. And then tomorrow, of course, we have the uh, celebration stream, four years here on YouTube. It's not going to be very long, maybe about an hour and a half or so. We won't be playing the game. I'm just going to hang out with you guys. We're going to kind of roast some of my old videos. We'll have fun. All being said, I hope you have a great day. We'll see you later. Peace.